Section 2.3 gets us started in um, solving very basic algebraic expressions. So very basic. So we've already seen a couple of these. I've used them as demonstrations in other videos. This time we're going to go ahead and actually learn how to solve them, even though you could probably do this in your head. We want to learn the steps, the mathematical process for solving this, because these are very, very simple. And in math two, we're going to be seeing even more complicated ones. And we want to make sure that we understand the steps because basically the complicated problems are just a bunch of simple problems all put together. All right. So the first thing that we want to understand is our properties of equality. So there's multiple properties of equality. We're going to discuss addition and subtraction in um, section 2.3. So the addition property of equality and the subtraction property of equality. Basically what a property of equality means is that whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other. So to keep an equation equivalent, if you're adding five to one side, then you gotta add five to the other. So you can't change one side without changing the other. If you only change one side of the equation, then the equation is no longer equivalent and we don't like that. So the property of equality is just saying whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you're doing to the other. Do it to both sides of the equation. So um, the two examples that I have, we're using basically the same numbers, but we just have a different sign. So x minus 9 equals 12 and x plus 9 equals 12. So first we're going to demonstrate the addition property of equality. That just means we're going to be adding something to both sides. So in this example, what are we going to be adding? Well, if we want to know what x equals, we have to get x by itself on one side of the equal sign. And whenever we're solving for a variable, that is our goal. Anytime we're solving for x or solving for y, that just means that we're trying to get the x or the y or whatever letter all by itself on one side of the equal sign. Right now, this variable, this x, is with a negative 9. We don't want that. We want the x by itself. Since this is a negative 9, the opposite of negative 9 is positive 9. So what we're doing, we're just using our addition property of equality, meaning we're going to add something right here. And if we're adding something right here, and we're going to add it over here too on both sides of the equal sign. Now, why are we adding 9? Basically, what we're trying to do is get this whole thing equal to 0. So that identity property is popping up again. In our um, properties of equality, whenever we're trying to get a variable by itself, for addition and subtraction, the, the identity property is 0. So we want to have x minus 0 or x plus 0 because if you're adding or subtracting 0 to anything, then that number just retains its identity. So x is just going to equal x. So our goal is to just get this the whole thing to equal 0. So negative 9 plus 9, or you could do 9 minus 9, either or. Those are just going to cancel out and they're going to equal 0. So our goal has been achieved. The x is by itself on one side of the equal sign. And then we just need to perform that addition property of equality on the other side. 12 plus 9 equals 21. So if we were to come back and rewrite this equation with x equaling 21, we would have 21 minus 9 equals 12. And that is a true statement, a true mathematical statement. So x equals 21. And we again, we use the addition property of equality. So now on our other one, our other example here, we're going to use the subtraction property of equality. Same thing as addition, but instead we're going to be subtracting from both sides instead of adding to both sides. So what are we going to be subtracting? Well, we're going to take the opposite of whatever is with this x. And the reason why we're taking the opposite is because this is an addition sign. So we're going to go ahead and take the opposite of what's with the x because we want the x by itself on one side of the equal sign. If we're going to subtract 9 from one side, we have to subtract 9 from the other side. So now 
9 minus 9 equals 0. We've got the x by itself on one side of the equal sign. Now we just need to perform the operation on the other side. 12 minus 9 equals 3. And again, if we were to rewrite this original equation using x equals 3, we would have 3 plus 9 equals 12. And that is a true mathematical statement. So again, in section 2.3, you're going to be doing very basic problems using your addition and subtraction properties of equality. But this right here is key to algebra. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So if you're taking the square root, or if you're putting an exponent on one side, you got to do it on the other side. If you're dividing by something on one side, you got to divide by that on the other side. And we'll get into those later on. But right now, we're just introducing addition and subtraction. Even if you can do this in your head, practice writing out the steps. Show the mathematical process for this because getting into that habit is really going to lay a good foundation for you when we have more complicated equations that we have to solve.